Granting AI status as a field does more than just defy logic. It incurs real cost. In this video, I'll argue that the notion of AI is costly for business because it oversells and costly for civil liberties because it confuses the regulation and legislation of machine learning and other technologies. Now, AI is often just used as a synonym for machine learning. Even Coursera co-founder Andrew Ng uses it in that way. Of course, once you've defined it meaningfully, any term can be used reasonably, as they say, a rose by any other name. I mean, for example, we use the term smartphone in a specific way without any grandiose implications. Now, to be specific, Ng is referring to artificial narrow intelligence or narrow AI, which he defines as AI focused on one narrow task, which basically just means supervised machine learning. But since Ng's work and teaching focuses only on narrow AI, he usually just calls it AI. But then oftentimes many others use AI to actually mean artificial general intelligence, AGI, the notion of computers becoming superhuman in their cognitive abilities. And beyond that, the word AI is generally thrown around without clarifying whether we're talking about AGI or narrow AI. The boundary between the two blurs in common rhetoric and in software sales materials. So if you're talking about machine learning, it's a much better idea to just call it that. You know, mean what you say and say what you mean. Let's go over the two costs that result from talking about AI as if it were a legitimate field. Number one, AI oversells. Whether selling software products or internally selling an idea or project proposal to colleagues, the use of the term AI more often than not falsely implies that the product includes some kind of advanced methodology beyond machine learning. I mean, after all, if it's only machine learning or predictive modeling, you'd just be calling it that, right? This is misleading hype, pure and simple. It's false advertising. When it comes to vaporware, the peddling of AI is the most pervasive perpetration in the world. The trendiness of this buzzword misdirects great quantities of resources. I urge you, don't sell AI and don't buy AI. Matt Veloso, a technical advisor and Microsoft CEO, tweeted this, difference between machine learning and AI. If it's written in Python, it's probably machine learning. If it's written in PowerPoint, it's probably AI. He got a lot of likes. Number two, AI confuses the regulation and legislation of machine learning and other technologies. Don't regulate on AI. Technology greatly needs regulation in certain arenas, for example, to address bias in algorithmic decision-making and to oversee the development of autonomous weapons, which often use machine learning. So clarity is absolutely critical in these discussions. Using the imprecise term artificial intelligence is gravely detrimental to the effectiveness and credibility of any initiative that regulates technology. Regulations already hard enough without muddying the waters. Now, some may respond to this, isn't inspired visionary ambition a good thing? Imagination propels us and unknown horizons beckon us. Arthur C. Clarke, the author of 2001, made a great point. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. I agree. However, that does not mean that any and all magic we can imagine or include in science fiction could eventually be achieved by technology. Just because it's in a movie doesn't mean it's gonna happen. AI evangelists often invoke Clarke's point, but They've got the logic reversed. My iPhone seems very Star Trek to me, but that's not an argument that everything on Star Trek's gonna come true. Creative fiction writers can make shows like Westworld, super entertaining by the way, but that's not at all evidence that those kinds of robots could be created. I'm not saying that intelligence isn't an inspiring goal. It most definitely is. I'm saying that 
Once you've named a field after it, you've institutionalized it and people automatically believe it exists or that it's a reasonable, feasible goal. It isn't. AI isn't a thing. You shouldn't call it AI. It's time for the term AI to be terminated. Now, I have no illusions that a mandate against certain words will take hold. Prescribing human language is a fool's errand, but a machine learning education is incomplete without clarifying how unsubstantial the popular fuzz word AI actually is and how costly the misinformation it promulgates. Besides, you can't blame me for trying. Someone's got to give it a shot. That wraps up this course's three videos on the problems with AI hype. In case you're interested in more, watch the next more extensive but optional Big Think video in which I repeat some of this but then go further to also cover how widely the media promotes the great AI myth, the impressive list of techno celebrities who believe in the myth, the most popular fraudulent AI robot to which one country granted citizenship, and how humans often serve as artificial, artificial intelligence. <laughs>